Good morning, my friends. Today, we have so many chores to do. You can help me. <laughs> so, so many chores. We're starting the day with tomatoes. Tomatoes. I'm gonna show you how to make a super, super easy tomato sauce that you can yourself. So, over here on Mr. Stove, I have two pots. Uh, these are washed, cored, and just chopped randomly in these pots. This is a very, very large pot. Actually, both of these are pretty large pots. Ignore my dirty stove. And I've got one cup of water in each of them, and we're going to turn them on and just let them simmer down until they all break down. This is the easy shortcut way to can tomatoes. And once they are simmered and broken down, we're going to them with an immersion blender or you can do a regular blender but I don't like moving the hot liquid so these are gonna simmer for you know what I don't even know however long it takes for them all to break down and become saucy I am now about to go to the gym uh, I'll talk in a different video about my current workout situation uh, but I signed Ryan up for this kids fitness or kids gymnastics. I'm a little unclear on what it is actually at world gym. I teach spinning at world gym. So I get a free membership there, me and Dave and Haley. Um, and it includes the kids babysitting thing. So it's nine o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm going to head over there, drop Ryan off for his either gymnastics or kids fit camp. I'm not sure. And then I'm going to do my workout for the day. Uh, let me show you how my tomatoes are coming along. These have been going for about 20 minutes or so. As you can see, the tomatoes have let all their juices come out, and so they're really falling apart nicely. Um, there's, I have a few romas that are still a touch hard, so I'm going to let this go for about another 10 minutes before I leave, and then I'll turn these off. And then when I get back from the gym, I will go ahead and puree these with my immersion blender. I just have one. My husband got me off of Amazon. It's a Cuisinart. They're not very expensive, 15 or $20. And then I'm gonna can them. I've got my jars in here right now, uh, getting sanitized and hot. And sorry about the sun glare, I gotta shut that. And I'm so productive this morning. I did all the dishes from breakfast that I made, wiped off the counters, even though it doesn't look like it. My kids have a few things over there. Wiped off the table. Yeah, it's looking, I mean, it's not super, it's not perfect, but I mean, looks pretty good for nine o'clock in the morning. Check out my, uh, my peach pit jelly. How beautiful is that? It's set up so nicely. Oh yeah. I have enough for one more batch, but I stuck it in the freezer because I'll do it later. All right, off to the gym we go. Post blending, this is what it will look like. Yes, there's some seeds and some pureed skins, but you know what? I've been doing this for two or three years and it's perfectly okay. There is nothing in here. I didn't put salt or sugar or anything. Just that little bit of water at the beginning and the tomatoes, and that's all. My jars are ready, so we're about to pour them all in. I am going to add some lemon juice to the jars just, just to ensure that the acidity level is good enough for home canning. After you've done your water bath canner for 30 minutes for the quartz, it'll look like this. Make sure you put a label on it because I can't tell you how many times I've, uh, I've been like, I'm going to remember what's in here and then I don't. <laughs> and make sure your top is sealed so when you push on it, you don't hear anything, right? That way you know it's sealed. And this is gonna be good just on your shelf for a year or two. They say a year, but honestly, I've had them longer than that and they've been fine. We're climbing. Obviously, you can see the seeds in there. I don't have a problem with that. If you don't like the seeds and you just kinda wanna do tomato juice, you can run it through a food mill before uh, you can it. I've done that before also, but this is gonna make fantastic chili. Um, honestly, that's my go-to. Make chili with it, uh, lasagna sauce, and spaghetti sauce. All winter long. And so, um, once you go to home canned tomatoes and tomato sauces, the store-bought ones and the metal cans, ugh, 
they don't taste good anymore. I've turned into a tomato sauce snob. So this is my tomato sauce hack for the lazy people who don't want to blanch and peel and blah, 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 blah. Give it a try. Let me know if you do and how it turns out for you. Obviously, when you're done, you can add salt and all that stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video and you want to hang around some more, drop a sub. If you've already subbed, hit the notification bell. Check out some of these videos or, or these videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.